All right, so day five was, uh, day five was just a boring day, didn't hit any real balls, but got all the reps in again, 1,000 reps. Uh, here we are, day six, technically. Um, day six was a working day, so uh, spent 11 hours of work, didn't really get much done there. Um, got here to uh, South Africa, uh, again and um, got uh, got down the driving range. Uh, worked on a few things. Made a new training aid video. Probably hit a couple hundred balls there, and then been doing a few drills uh, in my room. So we're up to about 500 uh, at the moment. I'm just about to go out for dinner. So hopefully when I come back, I can um, I can pump out a few more uh, reps. Uh, get that rep count up. Not quite sure I'm going to get to a thousand, but we'll see how we go. Tomorrow, um, day seven, um, that will be like a week. Wow, already a week. Day seven, playing some golf um, at a local course and uh, make plenty of practice swings there. We'll see if it's bearing any fruit, these changes, and uh, try and get some more reps in. So, yeah, catch you guys uh, tomorrow. Later. Hey guys, so just got back from uh, playing golf, played a course called Bryanston uh, here in Johannesburg. Fantastic, beautiful course. Uh, played with a couple of uh, strangers and uh, a few work colleagues. And you know, all in all, a great day out. Can't complain whenever you're on the golf course, right? But um, I thought it was important that I sit down and talk about um, the combination of playing, you know, for fun and trying to work in a swing change like I'm doing now okay so uh, day seven of ten days of trying to make a swing change and I'm out playing on the course as well and I think today I made uh, I think I made a huge mistake and it's not that I wasn't aware that you shouldn't do this it's just that it's very very difficult to stop yourself so um, you know I'm trying to make a swing change and I was making all these practice swings uh, with this new move I'm working on and then I'm trying to incorporate the new move consciously into my actual golf shots and I hit a lot of really really bad shots um, and it's frustrating right um, it's frustrating because uh, twofold you're not enjoying yourself and also um, it's kind of tricking you into thinking that uh, what you're doing is not the right thing. Now, I've spoken about this before. I know, I know that I need to stick with it. But, you know, they always talk about not uh, practicing on the golf course. And I think even though I knew that, I was guilty of doing that today. Um, there's nothing wrong with incorporating a new move into your practice swings, but then when you go and actually hit, hit the ball, you just have to let it go. And and the way to do it is, I think, the way to do it, and we'll see at the end of the 10 days, is make all these reps, you know, in, in your room, on the golf course, but then um, just believe that these uh, new moves you're making will seep in to your golf swing, okay? And gradually, bit by bit, your golf swing will change. If you're consciously trying to make uh, golf shots or play golf shots with this new move you end up playing really poorly um, you know you the, the part of your brain the subconscious part of your brain that should have control of your golf shots is not and you're just timings off and you you, you just have a, a torrid time so anyway I just thought I'd take a couple of minutes to explain that it's very important I think um, when you're making a swing change to by all means go out and play but just don't try and hit consciously golf shots with your new move let or just believe have faith that all the practice that you're putting in will gradually seep in to your golf shots go have fun otherwise what's the point all right so uh, I've probably still got about 500 reps to do today to reach to a thousand going out for dinner in uh, a couple of hours so need to get cracking so here we go <laughs>
Morning guys, so another uh, beautiful day and off to play golf again. Um, following on from my uh, previous video, today I'm really gonna concentrate on just playing golf, um, not really uh, focusing on my technique, on my actual golf shots. Uh, I'll be rehearsing you know, what I've been working on during my practice swings, but that's about it. I'm really gonna focus once I'm over the ball, just hitting shots, hopefully enjoy the game a bit more and uh, I'm going to stay, you know, stay true to my beliefs that uh, the swing changes I make is just uh, eventually gonna seep into my golf game and we're just gonna trust that. All right, so I uh, did a few reps this morning, off to play golf, uh, working later on today, so hopefully, uh, you know, between what I did this morning, the practice round, uh, the practice um, swings, and what I'll get done after the round, uh, we'll get our quarter in for today. All right, catch you later, bye. Okay, so here I am. I'm out, uh, out at a place called uh, Woodmead and I'm with uh, Simon, which I've done another video with before. You might see him. Um, and uh, we're off the first drive in the fairway on the right-hand side. And um, yeah, here we go. Gonna be making loads of practice swings, uh, but just playing golf today and letting, uh, letting the, uh, the new move seep in to my swing, not consciously trying to, uh, you know, work on it while I'm playing golf shots. So anyway, it's a bit rainy, but uh, yeah, here we go. <laughs> 